I was all this time thinking they were Bill Gates when they were not even Bill Fence. <laughs> so, I guess when you dig a hole, if you dig too, that are the moral of the story. Yeah, sharp, Dan. No, I hear that. Brother, brother. Blessed Satama people, coming up in today's live. Now, we have Squash. The other day, as you know recently, Sir P come out and put out a post about Shabdan. For those of you who don't know who Shabdan is, let me enlighten you and give you a little insight on who Shabdan is. If you look up on the screen, you see the picture of the man in the mask and the man without the mask. That's who Shabdan is. He's actually the son of Linval Thompson, singer from back in the days, famous Jamaican singer, a lot of people know him, you know what I mean? Hold on there. I really got to get you kissing. I really got to get you loving. Now, Squash and Shabdan has been friends for years. And for Sir P to come out and make such aggregation, accusations. Because it's not aggregation. This is accusation where he's actually accusing Shabdan of something to do with, with the killing of Squash, brother. And this, trust me people, it mash up Squash because, as we know, Squash love him, brother, very much. And would do anything. I mean, literally do anything for the killer of his brother. So, it really, Sir P coming out and just mentioning his brother... For one, all on them viewers and my subscribers. You see, before me say what I go say next, let's take a minute and listen to the news. Dance hall artist Squash drops new song name No Doubt. This is in reply to Jamaican YouTuber Politrix Watch, aka Sir P, opinionated allegations about Shabdan. People, welcome back to Politrix Watch. This is Sir P. Squash, longtime friend, whom he always references as Me Breda. Politrix Watch, aka Sir P, comes under much scrutiny and backlash as many YouTuber feels this time, Sir P. Definitely got it wrong, and proof all along what other YouTubers always said. Sir P himself, actually believes his own opinionative stories. This resonated from Squash coming out to support Shabdan. Squash, adamant, that Blytrick watch Mr. Robot voice, Sir P, actions are excessively rude and may cause the life of an innocent person. Sir P, recently made some strong allegations against dancehall producer Shabdan. Amongst the rumors was a story that Shabdan set up the life of one of Squash's brothers, G-Man. Squash finds Sir P's statement disrespectful, and is extremely upset about it. He said, The love he hold inside for his brother, only God. A saves the person that killed, me brother G-Man. Squash is now making it clear. The rumors Sir P claims about his good friend Shabda who he grew up with in Montego Bay, has been circulating for years. And had never paid any attention as he knows in his heart it far from the truth, and that rumor was started, as a means to have them killing each other. Then their enemies would have won. It frightening, and is a wicked act, for him to now circulating this old rumor and opening old scars that hurt me so much. And him only a tweet this to get views. No one should just get up and tell a lie on someone, without an credential or credibility as proof to support these accusations. Then, you wonder why people end up getting killed and people say, him no do nothing. The old saying, said, when you are digging a hole for someone else. Also make sure, to dig one for yourself. Why you wanna see a next person demise? By telling lies. When unfair games can play twice. Me don't know this person Sir P, and no one seems to know. Who this robot voice? That hide behind the screen. This person could be a pedophile. Murderer. Raper. We don't know him. But him all we have passed down judgment on other people. When in fact he might be a sick twisted individual. Think about it. Most time they are. Sick people. People to stop listen to this man lies and judge others. Some lyrics from the song says. Do this for my dog them. Yo. Breda from Aneta mother. Now let go. Them new know how we grow Shabdan. Dem wafe set we up. The world knows if you kill me Breda me want to mash you up. If you disrespect me, Guami fam me love you. Released less than 48 hours ago, and the song is currently trending at number 8. Do they see me dog them coming on on do? Dog them yo, I'm a dog them yo. Bread off my net, I'm at an It bring back memories and it bring back the loss and trust my people. Losing a family member is not something that someone should take lightly or someone should feel like, you know. That's the loss of a person. It doesn't matter if them was a bad man or whatever. You as a person that's still alive, you're going to feel a way. And personally, I think that, you know what I mean, it's okay to talk about people, but it's not okay until you start talking about a person, family, were past and gone. It's not right. This guy speaking straight facts just know it's yeah, okay to be brother. different. Yeah, man, I found it. I found it. 
Yes, yeah, see, me never bet on me never bet on no wiser. Me have to act dumb for win it round or no. Me have to act that way for win round or no. Come and sister on a pre one way of life. So my owner used to come, come tell me if I put on tattoo. Me remember all of this time when tattoo used to run the place when he used to come press me if I put on, yo man put on tattoo. Cause everything come in on the inner. Everything come in on the inner. Me not inner everything will come in with you know. Me and you know. So that's why you could have me as madman cause me and you know. Me had the gift of gab. So you have to have me as madman. Me never drive a car on a drive. A Volvo and, and vintage Benz me drive. So when you just see me, you have me as madman. I don't have no self rich and me can't do it. And you, 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 you carry them every day. So you say you're rich. But every time you new car out of fashion, my vintage still in a fashion a pass. You know, you can't go in a more fashion. Can me, can't remember, you know, in Kingfish Court, me a Volvo, you know. And Kingfish done out of Jamaica a long time. Then Mark II come in. And Mark II done out of Jamaica my Volvo still the beer. Where's Mark II? Where's Kingfish? Then they have police shape coming. So one of them that they say, Where's them now? Don't my Volvo is them. My Volvo them still up. So no 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 more life. When me I drive up a Volvo them and I meant to a private school, my pitney them go. Private school. Me not send them go local. A two alone stop, a five pit, them get two alone stop. Go private school, two. Two them over Portmore. So do the maths. Who oh, not try to tell me, say? Me fit be like, uno come and party, flash me NSC, money pull up, gang, gang, gang with two booby, gang, gang, and me have picking Me love me picking them. Me not better no kill me picking them. Me have to set things to me picking them. I feel like say yo, me go bet uno kill me half boy. Yeah. A bad thing I go on and this fake people love the fake and then uno come a go on like uno real. Uno no real. You know how much thing I go on with me when me come on Instagram come up up on the eye with Tap me tap come up up on the eye now. Me tap. Reward increases. For Jamaican suspect in Florida, double murder. A manhunt is still on the way for a 21-year-old Jamaican man named Dujon Duane Griffiths, who is suspected to have carried out a double homicide, and also an attempted murder in Orlando, Florida. According to reports, a man was shot last week Tuesday, but miraculously regained consciousness the following Thursday, telling the police of the shocking event that had caused to be hospitalized and luckily to still being alive. It was Dujon, his friend, who shot him and his girlfriend, his daughter also fatally as a means of suffocate in the car, next to her mom. This gruesome killing, and one week has passed and Dujon is still on the run. Now Florida sheriffs are presenting a new bounty amount for the arrest of the 21-year-old. The sheriff stated, the hashtag reward is now $15,000 for information leading to the arrest of Dujon Griffiths, suspect in the murders of Masania Malcolm and Baby Hordania. The statement continued, the reward was increased through the generosity of Florida Sheriff's Association and Central Florida Crime Line. Dujon Duane Griffiths based on the information released by the police which they got from the father while in hospital. It is said that Dujon was traveling in a car with the couple and their child, when he allegedly pulled the father out of the vehicle, then proceeded to shoot him multiple times. He then drove the car away with the mother and the child in it. Reports are that Dujon wanted the woman to give him her baby father money, but when she refused he shot her multiple time, and flew the scene leaving the baby to suffocate. Their bodies were later found lifeless in the vehicle in a parking lot. According to the reports, the suspect is reported to have been very close friends of the couple and was even living at their house. The mother of the deceased woman and grandmother of the child said the couple took Dujon in when he was just coming to the States for the first time to live, and also stating that it was her who gave him a push start with $100. She went on further, in pain to express that she did not know the man was capable of such a heinous act. In her anger, she spoke out on the matter, with hopes that when this suspect is found he is dealt with on the grounds of no mercy, and makes him suffer for what he did. The Jamaica Constabulary Force has also issued a message for the airports, to check their departures and arrivals to see if there is any evidence that he might have traveled. United Kingdom, law enforcement officials, have been informed of the suspect, and warns any attempt of Dujon entering in the UK is unlikely, as he will definitely be apprehended, and retuned to the States to face charges. Now my viewers and subscribers, you may be asking yourself, what would have caused this young 21 years old to do such an heinous crime? I found an article in Florida Express, the article said, exclusive events happens. Rumors are, that, 
Ramos a man from St. James, Montego Bay in Jamaica. If you look on the screen just now, Ramos is the individual shown. It's alleged. Ramos called shot from overseas to have another man in St. James to meet his demise. The deceased man was a well-known figure in the community, was shot and killed, while riding his motorbike along the streets in St. James. So according to Jamaican rules and laws, revenge is a must. Revenge did eventually happen, with three persons lost their lives, but surprisingly one of the person was Ramos' grandmother. Connection with the killing of the man on the motorbike. And the killing in Florida are connected. As the young man shown now in the photo. Name is Sinaway, friend of Dujon Griffiths, and the man that miraculously survived the deadly attack. Sinaway is also the son of the man that was killed on the motorbike in St. James. Dujon and Sinaway had known each other from Jamaica, through gang affiliation activities they both were members of the, Bad Breed Gang before migrating to Florida due to gang violence. Ramos, according to one source is the head of the Bad Breed Gang, so himself and other from the Bad Breed Gang, persuade Dujon Griffiths to take out his friend Sinaway, robbed him of his cash. However, Dujon, stupid and greed, lead him to carry out the act, ordered by the gang, and this is the mess, he had made, now shown on internet. Condolences, to all the victims who has lost their lives, my prayers are with you. Do remember to subscribe to the channel, for more awesome content. Like, share and most importantly, always put the Almighty first.